This is Antony Olbritsky. He is a fantastic fencil with some unique techniques and who excels at the thrust. I wanted to do a fight analysis on him since his fencing is Soldfish 2018. I was also curious about his fencing as he is involved in the production of some of the best HEMA related content on YouTube made by Academia. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at his fencing and see what we can learn. His strongest technique has to be his thrust. He keeps moving, playing around with measure, then he just flies in. It's fast, it's fluid, and by the time his opponent sees what's coming, it's too late. Not too much to say about a thrust, but there is something satisfying about a clean exchange like this. Next up is sniping. I saw some occasional hand snipes, and yeah, totally valid technique against someone in post breathe. The more interesting snipe, however, which is unique to Oblitsky, is this one-handed snipe to the shin, and he does it a lot. <laughs> Against opponents he has faced multiple times, though, it loses its effectiveness. He has some good footwork, plays around with measure, and has a decent sense of self-preservation. One thing that stood out to me, though, was that it only saw him use post breve and nothing else. He uses it well, and it is certainly a common goal, but this has to be the false practitioner I've ever analyzed who uses only one goal. Although you could argue that he also utilizes post de corona or crone, Many of these, however, are simple, but well-executed parry repulsed actions. Simple, but he does them very well, leading to some impressive fencing. Old Britsky excels in the wide game, and does okay in the close game. I didn't see any pommel strikes or intentionally moving to grapple, but when a grapple does pop up, he can hold his own. Now, moving on to double hits, the vast majority of which a cold when he ends up in the close game, but leaves the bind to make a cut. When he leaves the bind to make a cut, he has lost containment on his opponent's weapon, and when he goes to make a cut, so does his opponent, resulting in a double hit. There was 20 double hits out of a total of 89 exchanges. This data came from 10 videos, and if we take the double hit ratio from each video, we get an adjusted double hit ratio of 216 double hits per 1,000 exchanges. If we compare this to the currently calculated double hit average of 147 doubles per 1,000, we can see that Olbritsky doubles 47% higher than the average. This is significant, but let's keep some things in mind. 89 exchanges is a very small sample size to make any sweeping generalities about someone's fencing, and the average was derived from the 2017 Dutch Lions Cup, which had different fencils, judges, and rule sets, all of which can impact the likelihood of a double hit. All in all, I would say Antony Olbritsky is an excellent fencil who excels at thrusts, snipes, and the parry riposte but does not fare as well in the close game. As always though, I hope you liked this video, and I encourage you to check out the Facebook page as well for some unique content I only post there. Thank you.